wanted to share a quick um, thing that's on my mind lately, um, but I just got off the phone with a dentist that I've been talking to um, who is very entrepreneurial and he uh, told me that he had had a pretty rough week, a uh, number of things just didn't go, um, just had to make some difficult decisions on staffing and whatnot. But what it made me feel good from the standpoint of realizing that other entrepreneurs also have those moments of desolation or depression or doubt and questioning. And he just said he was wondering if he wants to continue on and if it's worth pouring more money into the software that he's developing and all this stuff. And from my perspective, it was just a reminder on you have to analyze what is causing your period of desolation. And I think it's important to look back at if you're feeling down right now, look back on what has happened in the two, three weeks prior to how you're feeling now, because it's never the fact that you lost a big proposal or a client um, terminated the contract or you had to let someone go. That's, that's like the thing that breaks the camel's back. But what I have to look at for myself is what was I doing? How many meetings have I had with people? How many times have I like ask people to go to coffee. What are the things that give me energy? And I'm, am I consistently doing those? Am I listening to my audio books? Am I um, working out at the gym? Those are the things that you have to make sure that you're doing consistently to keep your energy level up so that you can sustain those difficult times that we all know are going to happen as we're pursuing our careers and our dreams. So something that I just felt, um, something that's just pressing on my mind. I've been putting a lot of focus and energy into managing my own energy and uh, trying to weather the storms that come in entrepreneurship. So hopefully that's helpful to some of you, um, but uh, just stick with it, hustle, and uh, keep moving forward one step at a time.